Hey guys, welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. Uh, where today, I, I'll be honest, I'm not overly sure what we're going to do today. I know the one thing we are going to do is we're getting into orbit. Um, possibly doing some launch pad science, maybe? I don't know. Um, so, last time we got up into orbit, uh, well no we didn't, we got up into out of the atmosphere. Um, I didn't have quite enough to get up into orbit, mainly because I spent too much time chatting to you guys. Because, you know, I'm such a social creature that I, I, I completely forget what I'm doing most of the time. Why can't I do this? Purchase cost... Oh, I've got it on difficult, haven't I? And I bet I can't even... Ah, ah. Alright, so we learned a new thing today. Let's go do this, shall we? I completely forgot that was a thing as well. It's the best thing about playing, like, a new updated game. They change everything on you. Now, it's in here, right? This one... Well, so I've got to actually pay for these individually. Where's my money? How much have we got? 68,000. Well, I need that. Yes, I want that. And then we need the need the science. Yes, I want that. And we need a stack decoupler, most definitely. Um, we need a radial decoupler. And some solid boosters with some extra engines, maybe. Maybe. Yeah, okay, cool. Well, that cost us a lot of money. Um, what have we got in here? Yeah, okay, so that, that, that should actually do what we want for what we're doing. Wow, I completely forgot about it. Well, we've got some spare cash, let's just uh, throw a little bit more out there. The Separatrons are probably going to be useful. All right, well, let's... Oh, well, well that, was, that was a bit more thought-provoking than I thought it was going to be. Um, right, here we go, back to what we were doing. So, we're building a orbital vessel, which probably means we're not... Not going to uh, be doing too many fancy things. Now, which one is it with the, the higher thrust? Which which one's a gimbaling engine and which one isn't? Let's put this one under here. Right click it and see. There, there we go. That's a, that's a gimbaling engine. That's what we want. So, this is going to be our orbital craft. Now, on our orbital craft, we're going to want things like a mystery goo container. Uh, yep, right there. Um, and then on this side, we want that. Uh, ideally, we want something to balance out the weight of this container on this other side here. But what are we going to use? Uh, I don't know. I don't know what we're going to use. Perhaps. Oh. In fact, we don't even need a second one. We can just do this and do this like this. Hey. Yeah, that's all we need, right? Um, so. Boom. That's a, that's a in-space mechanism thing thingy thing sort out our uh, stagings over here and then we just need to put like some sort of like basic lifter underneath which is probably going to be uh ooh, come here a couple of these two or three let's let's go with two because well the whole of last season i had a tendency to completely overcook it and we don't really want to do that this season um that and the things that we just paid a lot of money for there they are now, I think this should be able to get up to orbit. Um, to make sure though, did I put a decoupler in? I did. To make sure, shall we, shall we throw in a little bit more? I know I, I, know I was just talking about overcooking it and stuff, but if we, if we get up, we might even, might even have a moonshot. I, d I, I really don't think we will, because I'm not really set up for that. I can't get this decoupler. Ah, ah. All right, well, when this has uh, got itself sorted out, I will see you on the launch pad. Ba -do -boo, ba -do -boo. Oh, hello. Welcome back to the launch pad. Once again, we have Jebediah in the hot seat, because we just can't get him out there, it seems. And literally, our only goal today is to get up to uh, orbital velocities. Um... Now, I've got to try and keep myself a little bit more on track this time. Uh, I, I don't really want to suffer the embarrassment of once again having to uh, explain to you how I didn't manage to make all this science. Because we've got everything now. Oh, this was supposed to be done on the launch pad. Oh well, at least it gets done on the floor this time. So let's get a crew report going up. Crew report going up. Nice one. Okay, what else can we do science-wise? I didn't even bring communicatron on this well there we go amazing as always i do love my my own particular brand of kerbal space program oh we got a bit of a bit of a spin on the go that's that's all right though right and already we're up high enough to be thinking about tilting over quite a lot i mean look at that nice strong atmospheric line there oh that's amazing right let's have a look at our map let's see what we're doing 
Have we already run out of fuel? I hope not. I heard a, a, a weird noise. Um, okay, so we're at 50, 50 apple apps, 50 kilometers of apple apps. So if we just completely throw ourselves over like that, we should build apple apps and forward velocity at the same time. Let's have a look at our little orbital readout over here. Look at that. Yeah, this is this is climbing, but at the same time, this is. I'm going to say dropping, even though I know the numbers are going up, but the minus numbers are going down, which to me sounds like dropping. So we'll, we'll go with dropping. Um, right, can we do any more science here? We can't really, not until we get, um, and not until we stop accelerating, and then we can get this um, crew report out of the pod, which is kind of the important thing. I've really gone far too low on this. Let's Let's go there. Uh, there we go. That, that'll do. I suppose right now, actually, would be a good time to EVA, keep climbing up, grab all the data, put it back. Cool. Get back inside. Can we do another crew report? Oh, let's throw it up a bit. Upper atmosphere. Awesome. Right, that's what we're after. Yeah. Okay. Keeping an eye on our numbers now, um, because this is what we need to do. Uh, we are blatantly smashing it up to something like a 90 kilometer orbit uh, let's time accelerate our way up to at least out of the atmosphere um, once we get out of the atmosphere I think I will once again attempt another crew report and perhaps it's time for a bit of um, a bit of goo I mean right now does it tell me I'm flying or in an orbital well I'm out of this uh, observe mission go why in space near Kerbin uh, I'm gonna grab that and then we're gonna see if it is different when we are in a full orbit. I can't remember from last time, well, from my last series, whether that is a thing or not, but we will find out. Am I, am I going just a little bit too fast too soon? That's, I don't really want to push it up to 100k orbit, but it definitely looks like that's what we're going for. Well, we passed the point of uh, physical time warping, so let's very slowly push that up, and I reckon about here is the time to be pushing it, hopefully. Hopefully. Okay, yeah, no, this, look, this looks brilliant. I want to be angling just a little bit down so we don't push that. Yeah, we're going to carry on pushing that up no matter what we do, aren't we? Uh, maybe maybe somewhere down here. I'm not going to waste the fuel. I'm just going to wait for us to start watching this drop down, um, which will hopefully be shortly. I mean, where are we? We're at 97 kilometers and we're going for 102. Um, I suppose I can just hammer on the time acceleration again. And, and hopefully this will be good, right? Surely. I mean, what could go wrong, eh? It's just space. It's only rocket science. Okay, that's an orbit. We have a ridiculous Apple apps, but that, that's an orbit. Observe the mystery goo. And what have we got? While in space near Kerbin. That was the same as the last one, wasn't it? Yeah, okay, we're going to keep this. And we're going to try to... Um, oh, hello. Let's get rid of this. We're going to try and put ourselves down on the space center this time so if we just go for a singular orbit go through the darkness uh, let's turn our SAS off because we don't really want to run out of power that quick um, maybe whilst we're up in orbit you know what let's go to the space center let's go to the space center and see if there's any actual orbital science we can get done uh, let's go have a word with Gene Be like hey Gene all right man we've got science data from around Kerbin we want that okay awesome um, have we got anything else? I kind of avoid these tests unless I'm really... Oh, we can, we can rescue someone, but we don't have anywhere of, uh, any way of capturing him. No, no command pods or anything. Uh, and Explore the Moon is the one that we're going to be doing next time. So I think... Okay, yeah, we can, get, we can get this science data and then we'll be all but done. I nearly clicked exit there. That would have been great, wouldn't it? All right, Orbiter 1. I... Oh. I really have no idea on the names for this season's ships. Um, if anybody has any like amazing ideas, I would very much appreciate them. So what we're actually looking to do is our Apple apps, maybe bring, I don't know, maybe there, bring our power apps down. Maybe, does that put it into the atmosphere? 20, 27 kilometers, that might be a bit too far, too high. Let's try that. I reckon that manoeuvre will put us down into the thing. So we're going to make our first use of the alarm clock for... Oh, hello. Updates available. For no other reason than I want to get used to using the alarm clocks again. Um, I just want to turn this down to 30 seconds because I hate waiting around. I am impatient. And this may be why I don't do 
quite so well at this game because I, I don't really have the patience for space travel. But let's go find out what happens. Whee! <laughs> All right, waiting for sunrise. Bow, sunrise. And then somewhere around here. Sweet. So replace the maneuver node and close it. And then we're just going to perform a small burn. Um, I'm going to... I'm literally just going to see what happens with my gut instincts. Wh whether that was an... Oh, did we get... Did we get the space? Did we get the science? That would have been a little bit embarrassing again, wouldn't it? Um, can we do a crew report? No, we can get out and review the report, though. Um, why does he keep trying to pull himself all the way down? I don't know. Let's get back in. All right, uh, crew report. It seems we're very much in space right now. The sky seems mostly below us. Yes, indeed. Crew report while it's in space near Kerbin. Woo. Okay, so we've got a maneuver node again. I don't know what that's doing now. I didn't really want that. Okay, this looks good. Oh, it looks a bit, a bit shallow. Maybe I might, I might end up cool, pulling down too early. But let's find out. See what happens. Hey. What's the worst that could happen? Well, we all know what the worst that could happen could be. I could slam into the side of a mountain, or I could just completely fail to get down to the uh, down to the, the space center. Uh, we could end up hitting the moon. Uh, you know, I nearly nearly had the, the fuel to carry on, I suppose. Um, does anyone know if in the uh, 0.25 update there's any been, been any sort of changes made to how fuel hungry the fuels are ah look that's going down far too quick isn't it we're not gonna make that before that drops below the surface so how about we just kind of nudge it up a little bit i mean that 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 can go wrong surely eight kilometers we want to want to go forwards a little bit as well is that is that possible oh maybe maybe not maybe we want to push it backwards a little bit yeah like that so this is how I figure out um, my orbital maneuvers. I start thrusting just a tiny, tiny, tiny little bit. Uh, and then I swing around along the line that I think it's supposed to be on until I find something approaching what I'm going for. Uh, and then we just kind of sit back and watch. <sighs> That's our target next time. What do you reckon? That, that little crater right there, should that be our target? Or should we go for one of the big ones? I'm not sure what my favorite landing site on the moon is actually what do you guys what 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 are your favorite sites on the moon um obviously like the 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 northern latitudes and such are amazing uh a little bit difficult to land on because with the with the, the the low uh the low sun it, it makes the shadows a bit awkward but you know um the highlands they're a bit easy uh i do prefer a bit more of a challenge to my to my landings and here we go, here's the, the heat shock starting. Not even close to high enough, so that's just, ooh, maybe, maybe not quite like that, but it does seem to, am I out of fuel? Am I out of fuel? That's out of fuel. Well, that, that kind of did all right. Yeah, uh, okay, so I put it down at something like 20 kilometers over, over the middle of the ocean. What I'm now thinking is maybe 30 kilometers over the middle of the ocean in an orbital path. I don't know. I mean, I should know, right? You guys have watched me do this entire thing many, 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 many times now. Um, oh, can we get a re-entry mystery goo? Uh, while in flying over... We don't we don't quite get the full thing, but that will do. That will do. What's... Hmm. I was about to say what, what possible harm could come from that, but I, I can see all sorts of possible harm coming from that. Okay, so we are coming down hard. I've just turned down my time acceleration... Though I may have done that a little bit early, we are still two kilometers above. And that flashing light there telling me that it needs an update is really distracting. But anyway, right. So where are we? What are we doing? We're coming down hard. Jer Jer Jebediah. I've forgotten his name for a second there. Jebediah is doing great. Uh, 100 meters. Uh, it's a bit early. I could have done with pressing it a bit later. Uh, and I could have actually done with saving a, just an eedy little bit of fuel to uh, stop myself crashing into the into the floor so hard. Ah, kind of works. Kind of works. Um, we've got a surface sample from water before. Do we? Yeah, yeah, I think we've got everything. Let's go see what we've got. 
Pow! Once again, we've got 39 signs. That's that's pretty good, actually. That's not too bad. Um, just from an orbital fight. That's a, okay, four parts recovered. What I want is 170 kilometers from the Ker Kerbal Space Center. That's not bad. I only lost 10% of the value through uh, recovery costs. So, yeah, that's not bad. Um, and crew, of course, jeopardized back. <sighs> is what I've got to say to that. All right, awesome. Uh, I think... Oh, I meant to click on Gene Store. Hang about. Okay, I think we've got a few new things to get. Like, we're going to want all this lot if we're going to land on the moon. We want this landing engine. I know it's, it's just a low-powered engine, but it's nice and flat, which means we can get these um, landing legs next to it. And if we're doing that much stuff, you've noticed that every time I've landed in the water so far, all my uh, underside has exploded. And that, that's rubbish. We don't want that. So I'm going to research these extra parachutes that actually are the same weight as the goo canister so we can use them to kind of balance it all out uh and then going back to gene which is where i'm first meant to go this is what we're going to do next time leaving me to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure guys i will see you next time when we're going to the moon where we're going to land on a random um, random landing site hopefully chosen by you guys if you tell me what your favorite places are i will see you then when we do that bye